guys, this is Sandra here and yes, we're in the bed, which can mean one thing. We have a chatty video and this time it's a project pen update once again. And as you can see from the title, it's the 100% cruelty free. <laughs> and as you can see from the title, this is the Mission 100% cruelty free project pen. And I believe this is the first update, no, this is the second update we have so far. We update every second month and this project was started by Sarah Sapphire. I will link her in the info box below so you can follow her channel and see her projects as well and all her other videos. And is there anything else I have to tell you? Everyone does this project differently. The way I do it is that I have five products on the go at the same time and then I can roll something out either if I finish it up completely or if it's a product that's in a pen and you can hit pen on it then if I hit pen then I can decide whether I want to keep it in or I want to just put it away for now and then use something else and then come back to it later so I think that's all you have to know if there's anything else I can put it on the screen but I'm pretty sure that's it and let's hop into it so you can see how I got on. The first product we're going to talk about is the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in the shade Calypso Coral. And I had it for a really, really long time. Probably a lot longer than I'm supposed to, but that's okay because I do love this product. When I started this project, I had no pen on it whatsoever. And da 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 da! Look at that! I managed to hit pen on it finally, and I really like it's quite a sizable pen as well. And I remember the day I hit pen on it because I just kept going and going and going, and it never really showed any signs of getting close to the pen, so I wasn't sure how deep it is. And also, the fact that you only need the tiniest bit of this to have any sort of pigment. You know, so you don't need a lot at the same time. So I was not too sure how long it's gonna take me even just to hit pen and I finally, finally did. And I'm so happy because in my mind, and also it's called Calypso Coral, so the name is quite telling. It is more of a summery kind of shade. So I'm really happy to finally hit pen on it and because I associate corally colors more with summertime, I'm gonna just put this away for now and roll in another project and roll in another product at the end of the video. But I'm really, really happy. I use this on my cheeks, I use this on my lips. I have the tiniest bit on my cheek today as well, although I really bronzed up, so I'm not sure you can tell. But I used this so many times to finally get here. And my, if you remember, I had a project, it was, which one was it? It was the Collab um, Roulette Project Pen. I always mess up the name, but that one. I had the Tom Ford cream blush and I found that one so much easier to use whereas this one for some reason I don't know why it just took me absolute ages so I think the formula is different as well whereas that one is a bit more forgiving and really easy to blend and you can sort of pack it on it doesn't get too much with this one let me show you in the back of my hand as well if you go just a little bit overboard it's gonna be really really strong like that's just one little swipe and obviously you can slightly blend it but still if you keep packing it on you're gonna look like a clown like even when I blend it out look it still packs quite a punch so I'm really happy that I managed to hit pen on this and I might roll it back in in the spring summer time next year but for now this is gonna go because also that's something I didn't mention with this project you can go on until you finish everything that's non cruelty free in your collection which for me personally I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon as I calculated it in the intro again I will link it up um, in the cards I think it's gonna take me like three years even if I use up a product each month which we know is not gonna happen and I think I calculated three years, let me let me see, because I wrote it all down. Yep, so I said a project will last for 26, 27 months if I manage to use up five products each month. So it's still over two years and we know it's not gonna it's not gonna be like that. I'm not gonna use up five products each month. Not happening. So you know it will take a while because how many products do I have? I have 133 products all together. 
that are non cruelty free and I'm not sure if I already included in that my Wet n Wild and Morphe products because I wrote that list I think before those news broke so it might be more since then brilliant just brilliant just what I needed but you know slowly slowly going through that so that's all we can do the next product is that I thought last time that by this update I will be done with it and it's I think it's the Oriflame Midnight Blue Eye Pencil and if I take off both lids because on one end it has a little smudger you can see it's the tiniest tiniest little pencil that you can imagine the tiniest tiniest nib but for some reason I just I don't know it's not it's not a bad kind of product it's just not a blue that I enjoy the most so there we go it's okay I would just prefer it to be a bit brighter but also it's not something that I can use at work all the time so I'm wearing it today as well but the way I'm trying to get some use out of it on an everyday basis is that I line my top lash line with it lightly and then I pat a dark brown shadow on top so that way it's more like a blacky browny kind of colour and I can get away with it but also the formula it's just I don't enjoy it a lot but because I only have a little 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 bit left because soon I will get to the point where I'm not going to be able to sharpen it much I think so I'm almost done with it but again that's what I thought last time as well and you will see it in the markings I didn't make as much progress with it as I did last time so we'll see I would like to say I will be done with it by the next update but I said it last time too and look it's still here so I really really hope that I can use it enough but sometimes I just forget I'm gonna be honest I just I just do and I think it's partly because I don't enjoy it as much as I used to, I think back in the day but we're almost done and I'm stubborn enough that I don't want to let it go because I want to finish it so fingers crossed the next product is something I'm wearing at the moment as well which is the Makeup Forever Aqualiner in the shade 8C which I'm pretty sure C stands for cool toned and it's a red lip liner and let me show you the colour first by itself it goes really well with the Burberry military red lipstick which I'm wearing at the moment and look at that it's the tiniest tiniest nib of pencils and it got to the point where you can see in some edges it's a bit like a oh I can't remember the word but you can see I couldn't sharpen it properly anymore because it got to the point where if I put it in sharpener I can't really twist it because there's not enough of the pencil left for me to twist it so once I use this up that's it I think once this nib goes that's gonna be it just because I can't possibly sharpen it enough and my progress this time around was a lot better than previously which I'm really pleased with and proud of myself but also, once we get into the colder months, I feel like I'm more likely to go for a red lip, especially once Christmas hits, but this one won't be around by then, for sure. Like, I'm pretty sure that I have like three, four uses left of this, and then this goes. I really like it, it's a lovely formula, it blends easily, it's easy to apply, it doesn't smudge. I do really, really, really like it, but again, Makeup Forever is not cruelty free, so that's it once I use this up it's gone and I really did enjoy it while it lasted and I'm pretty sure that next time around when I have an update this won't be in it anymore just because there's barely any uses it left in there and yeah I mean how tiny is that really tiny really really tiny now the next product is something that I'm not too sure where I'm at with just because I can't see through the bottle and this is the Bourjois 3D effect gloss and it was part of a summer collection it's waterproof it has SPF 15 and the shade is Brune Exotic I'm gonna go with that pronunciation and I can show you the bottle but you can't really see through it I can't really see through it and I was trying to like press the brush up towards the edge of the bottle but even then it's I can see it's moving a product and I can sort of see the like the you know the brush 
but not really but i know that i got really good use out of it this month i took it with me to work and i reapplied it throughout the day so i know that i use it a lot and also in the beginning i had loads of product coming out of the bottle to apply whereas at the moment i have to like dip back in to get more product yeah just excuse to hurry my eye but i have to dip back in to get more product so i know that it's sort of going i'm just not too sure how long it will last me because again I was trying to like leave it on like the side of the table now so it might settle it doesn't so will we ever see progress on this or one day it will just stop working and there will be no more product coming out I don't know you will just have to take my word for it and oh <sighs> it's me dropping stuff again you will just have to take my word for it and believe me when I say I'm using it and there's progress because otherwise I can't really prove it but it's quite nice and buildable. You can really shimmer it out or build it up to be a bit of a darker nude. It is quite nice. I do enjoy it. And it's more of the slippery sort of glosses. So it's not really long lasting. But it also means that it's really comfortable on the lips. So I do enjoy it. Again, I just can't really show... Oh, maybe I can. Uh, no, I think it's just glitter settling on the bottom. Or is it... Because right now it's almost like I see a line somewhere here, but that still means I have a lot to go. I hope not. Yeah, even when you turn it towards the light or like against the window, it's nothing. Nothing I can see. So please take my word for it. I did use it so, so much this month. And I will continue doing that and then I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. And the last product is something that I got a whole bunch of use out of since I started this project. And it's the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade Light. And last time I still had a bit of pen left in this one. Now that's completely gone. And I also hit pen on all the other shades at this point. Did I? Yeah. Now it might be hard to see. But there's actually pen in this one too. Pen in that one. Pen in that one. Pen in that one. The only one I don't have pen in is the yellow. Just like I said. I don't think I'm going to use that. And... Even the darkest shade at the moment is... <clears throat> that's the only one I can sort of use and sort of works for my skin tone. What I'm gonna do, I think, because it's getting quite thick and I don't necessarily enjoy using it that much on my skin and I use it every once in a while as like a, an eyeshadow base or sometimes I use it around my brows just to make it look a bit more tidy. So I do get some use out of it, but it's not my favourite. And it's getting really old, so what I might do, I might leave it in for one more round, as in like for another two months. And I think when the next update comes around, I might just chuck it. I hate not getting more use out of it, but I don't enjoy it. It's really goopy, it's quite thick, and yes, you can use your fingers to warm it up a bit. But I don't really enjoy using it anymore, and it is really old. So I think I'm going to leave it in till next update. And then I'm just going to get rid of it and say bye-bye. I don't know. <laughs> I still got a fairly good use out of this product. And I used it a lot more than in the beginning of the project. You will see it from the close-ups. But I think it got to the point where I have to let it go. And at the end of the day, I think I got my money's worth out of it. I used it so many times. There's so much dent and damage on this product that I think if I have to let it go, even though I don't like throwing away products that can still be used, I think I can finally let it go without me feeling like really guilty just because it got so much use. And I think that's just, that should be just good enough. So next round, no matter what progress I made on it, I will get rid of it, but I will still try to use it quite a few times. So. That's the update on that, and that was the last product, and because I hit pen on the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge, I'm gonna roll in another product. And I decided to go with the same product, just a different colour. So it's gonna be the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in the shade Rose. And this one is a lot less used than the Calypso Coral colour. You can see it's a darker, more red sort of colour. I mean, it's called Rose, and I think it's going to be quite nice 
now that winter season is here so I can use it both on the lips or on the cheeks so I just have to make sure I only use a little as it's quite a bit darker and it it is indeed really rosy but more in a red kind of way there we go there is a blush right there I can show you without blending it out is there so I think it can be quite a nice mauvey ready color on the lips as well and because it's been less used than the other one I think it will take me another good four months and that actually sounds crazy to know it took me four months to hit pen on the other one four so because this has been used less than the other one unless I use it more it's gonna take me even longer and to know that on a Tom Ford one I hit pen on in one month one or two I think one month actually and knowing the price tag on this is even higher than on this one Tom Ford is expensive I think it will take me a good four to six months to hit pen on this unless I use it a lot more so I guess we will see but again I do enjoy the formula and I would love to get some use out of this and last time I opened it you know when products look like they're sweat a bit it had a little bit of this on the outside corners so I took that off disinfected it with some alcohol and I hope that it's not gonna impact how this wears now if it's really bad I can throw it away but from what I've seen since it actually works quite well so I think it should be fine again it's not something I would use on anything else but on my own risk I'm, I'm gonna use it on myself because I don't want to throw it away and I'm really attached to my makeup <laughs> that's all it is but we'll see so this is a new product I'm gonna roll in for now just because the other one is not really a summery color. Let me actually show you them side by side as well. And also I just had enough of it and those are my rules. If it's something that you can hit pen on and I do, I can roll it out and roll something new in. And you can see they're side by side the two colors. Although my camera isn't the best at focusing. There we go. So you can see one is more summer, spring. The other one is more autumn, winter. And I could use them as mini mouse ears. Okay, I'm going mad, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what have you hit pen on recently or if you have joined this project as well, let me know below. I'm gonna go and check out your video. I'm not sure there's a playlist to go along with it. I can't remember if there is, it will be in the info box below as well. And please 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 consider subscribing to my channel it would mean the world to me but for now i'm gonna go have a lovely day bye bye